Hi everyone, this is John Girardi with Right to Life of Central California, bringing you another in our 40 videos for 40 Days for Life series. 40 Days for Life is the international campaign of prayer and presence outside abortion clinics throughout the country and throughout the world. If you want to learn more about this campaign here in Fresno, uh, please get in touch with us at rtlcc.org or give us a call at 559-229-2229. As I stick my headphones on, I forgot to put them on. Uh, today, I want to discuss AB2223. This is the worst bill uh, regarding the abortion issue that has appeared before the California State Assembly uh, so far this year. And it's the worst bill because in its zeal to allegedly protect women who could potentially face prosecution, prosecution for miscarriage, and I can talk about that in tomorrow's video, it basically eliminates all criminal and civil liability, not just for any form of abortion, including abortions that are technically illegal in California, post-viability abortions where the mother does not get any kind of medical opinion from a doctor that the abortion is medically necessary or necessary to safeguard health. So it, it eliminates criminal liability even for like at-home late-term abortions, criminal liability and civil liability. It also eliminates criminal and civil liability for almost anything having to do with perinatal death. So it eliminates any criminal or civil liability for abortion, for miscarriage, and for perinatal death, which perinatal is a word that means basically around birth. Peri is the Greek prefix for around perinatal birth, uh, perinatal death rather. A lot of different jurisdictions have kind of different definitions of what constitutes perinatal death. Some jurisdictions, I believe some other states in the United States, define perinatal death as death that happens within 28 days of the child's birth. And effectively what this bill does is it's legalizing something close to infanticide uh, or of denying basic care to an unwanted child. Um, we've seen incidents of things like this where a child survives a very late-term abortion and uh, because the child's not wanted, healthcare pr practitioners refuse to provide the child with any care. They just leave the child uh, to die. The former governor of Virginia, Ralph Northam, got into some really hot water for making comments about uh, precisely that a couple of years ago. So this is a terrible bill. And it's terrible for a number of reasons. On tomorrow's episode, I want to talk about the incident that sort of provoked this and our response to it as a pro-life community. Uh, thank you so much for listening. This is John Girardi with Right to Life of Central California.